Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer one of the Java interview questions. That is, what is polymorphism in Java? Polymorphism is one of the OOPS concepts in Java. In OOPS, we have different OOPS concepts like uh, object, then we have class, then we have, you know, encapsulation, then we have polymorphism, then we have inheritance, then we have abstraction, and many more. These are the major ones, okay? While polymorphism is one of the OOPS concepts in Java, okay? While other OOPS concepts are there, polymorphism, polymorphism is one of them, okay? And second thing that you need to understand about this polymorphism is, you have to break this polymorphism word into two parts, okay? If I break this polymorphism word into two parts, that is poly is one word and morphism is another part of this word. Here poly, the actual meaning of poly is many, whereas morphism means forms. The actual me meaning of morphism is forms. Poly means many, morphism means forms, many forms. Same thing have different forms, okay? The same thing which is having different forms is polymorphism, okay? So how it is, how polymer, how the same thing having many forms is possible in Java then, how polymorphism is possible in Java then, is possible because of this overloading and overriding concepts, okay? Polymorphism in Java is possible because of this overloading and overriding concepts of Java. And coming to the first one, that is overloading part, what happens in overloading, what happens in overloading, how can the same thing have different forms or many forms? I'll tell you. You see, in overloading, let's say there's a class. Let's assume this box is a class. Inside this class, you create multiple methods. Okay? You create multiple methods inside the same class. And all these methods have the same name. Let's say this method has the same name. This method has the same name. This method has the same name. And this method has the same name. But how can Java accept duplicate methods? Java don't accept duplicate methods, guys. But here I'm saying, inside the single class, there are multiple methods having the same method how they are allowed, how the duplicate uh, pro duplication problem is resolved here. That is possible with, help, with the help of overloading, okay? In overloading of Java, what happens is, even though these methods have the same name, they differ in terms of number of parameters. These methods may have the same name. They may be the duplicate methods, but duplicate method error won't come when these methods having the same name differ, okay? They differ in number of parameters or type of parameters. For example, one of the method having the same name has zero parameters. This method has the same name, but one parameter is there, okay? But this method has one parameter, but different data type, okay? Here, int data type parameter is there. Here, double data type parameter is there. Here, number of parameters is different, like right? either because of number of parameters or type of parameters, the methods having same name can coexist in the same class without giving the duplicate error. That concept is called as overloading. Since the methods, all these methods have the same name, but they are, okay, they are, they will behave differently because uh, some will intake zero parameters, some will intake one parameter, some will intake one, one parameter of different type, some will intake two parameters. So the name is same, but the way they behave is going to be different, okay? So having same name, multiple things having same name, but different forms. Poly means many. Morphism means forms, okay? Same name with different forms, okay? Multiple having same name with different forms is nothing but polymorphism. That is overloading, it is possible like this. Coming to overriding, there's another concept in Java known as overriding, okay? Overriding. In overriding, okay? In overriding, we'll have one parent class and there will be one child class, okay? This class is the child of this class, let's say. There is a method in the parent class and the same method is there in the child class, okay? As per the inheritance, the child class inherits all the properties of the parent class. So this method is also inherited by the child class, but child class also has the same method. So in that case, what will happen is uh, ambiguity will come where this method will be inherited by the child class or the same method is there will be used by the child class. Inherited method will be used by child class or the same method which is the replica of the same method in the parent class, it will be used by the child class. Its own method it will use. Its own method it will use. This method is said to override the method in the parent class. Okay? 
this method in the child class is said to override the method in the parent class when you create an object for the child class okay instead of inherited method this uh, child class method override overridden method will be called this concept is called as method overriding this method has the same name this method has the same name but when you create an object for the child class this method will be called instead of this method because this method is said to override this method in the parent class okay here also multiple methods across inheritance having the same name but they are going to behave different if you create an object for the parent class this method will be called if you create an object for child class instead of this method this method will be called okay if this method is not there this method would have been called with the help of child class object okay so like that in java polymorphism is possible because of these two concepts one is overloading concept other one is overriding concept in both the cases there will be multiple methods having the same name in the overloading concept they will have the same name but uh, they differ in number of parameters type of parameters and in terms of overriding which is possible in inheritance where they have the same name uh, the child class has its own implementation for the same method whereas uh, parent class has its own implementation for the same method okay the implementation may be different for different classes uh, and uh, when you create an object for child class this child class method implemented method will be called here also overloading is possible guys i am not saying that in inheritance overloading is not possible in inheritance also overloading is possible uh, if they have the same name and if you differ in the type of the parameters or number of parameters this method is said to instead of overriding this method is said to overload the method in the parent class okay in inheritance also overloading is possible in the same class also overloading is possible so so how polymorphism is possible in java because of overloading and overriding guys okay overloading and overriding so with practical demonstration i am going to demonstrate now how polymorphism is possible in java i am going to explain the concepts of overloading and overriding in a practical way in java programs now okay but uh, hope uh, when you get this question in the interview start with the uh, saying uh, polymorphism is one of the oops concepts in java and polymorphism if i break the word poly means many and morphism means forms in java programming the same thing having uh, multiple forms okay if the okay if the same mm, if there are multiple methods having the same name but if they behave differently because of overloading and overloading overriding polymorphism is possible in java like that you have to tell and uh, if they ask you to explain with the code you can do whatever i am showing you right now okay so just create a new class and uh, i'll just name this class as a car class okay click on finish and inside this car class i am going to create one method public void uh, sample method let's say sample method i'm going to create a sample method and uh, this sample method doesn't have any parameters guys okay the sample method doesn't have any parameters okay the sample method doesn't have any parameters if i create one more sample method public void sample here here also this uh, you see duplicate method error is coming you see when you create duplicate methods inside the same class you are going to get a compiler error saying duplicate method sample in type car okay you cannot create duplicate methods inside the same class because you are going to get the compiler error if you do so okay so how to overcome this problem as per uh, overloading concept the methods inside the same class can have the same name when they differ in number of parameters or type of parameters so i'll create one parameter here so this one has zero parameters this one has uh, one parameter so even though these two methods have the same name because of this overloading concept duplicate method error is resolved because this one has uh, one parameter this one has zero parameter so what if i create one more method public void sample int a again if i do so again the same problem will come where the, these two methods have the same name and the same number of parameters and uh, the type of the parameters is also same if i have to overcome this if i make it double here the error will be resolved guys okay if i make it double the error will be resolved because even though this method having the same name has one parameter this method also having the same name but one parameter but the type of the parameter is in here the type of the parameter is double here because of that difference uh, method overloading is possible here as you can see here polymorphism is possible because of this overloading concept why because there are multiple methods having the same name sample 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 okay but uh, they will behave differently okay when you call this method something will happen when you call this method some other thing will happen when you call this method some other thing will happen same method okay same multi uh, multiple times the same method having multiple different forms different forms okay different behavior aspects okay so that's how polymorphism is possible as part of overloading in java and coming to the overriding i'll also practically demonstrate the overriding part now i'll create one class here say class a and uh, here in the class a i'll create a method guys uh, public void sample method i'll create in the class a 
okay so system dot out dot india then inside sample method of inside sample method of class a i'll write okay class a i'll write now i'll create one more class let's say class b and uh, once created i'll just drag it down so that you can see both class a and class b here in class b also i'll create one method public void sample same sample method same exact replica method i'll create here but the implementation may be different the implementation may be same or different that's up to you but i'll write something generally when you create a uh, same method in the uh, you see this this class this class there are two different classes but i will make this class be a child class of the class extend using extends keyword class a okay i'll make this class be a child class of the class a with the help of the extends keyword okay uh then now i'll simply write down inside sample method of class b i'll write okay now in this case you can clearly see that in the parent class class a is a parent of the class b in the parent class same method is there in the child class also same method is there in that case what will happen is this method is said to override this method in the parent class okay when the child class has the same method which is there in the parent class this method in the child class is said to override if this particular method is not there this method would have been inherited from the parent class to the child class okay and when you create an object for the child class this method from the parent class which is inherited to the child class would have been called but the moment you create the same class which is a replica of the same parent class of the uh, same same method in the parent class okay in that case when you create an object for the child class uh, the inherited method will be ignored and instead this overridden method of the child class or child class its own method will be called instead okay the overridden method will be called so here also you see method is same but their implementation is different okay so that's what makes the sense okay in java there are two two concepts in which uh, method, uh, this uh, polymorphism is possible one is method overloading another one is method overriding in method overloading this uh, in the same class or in inheritance when you create multiple uh, when you create the same methods okay either in a single class or uh, in the inheritance classes whatever it is okay if they differ in number of parameters and type of parameters that is overloading whereas overriding the parent and child classes if they have the same classes the child class uh, method is said to override the method in the parent class what if this uh, instead of overriding here if the child class method has a parameter then is this method a duplicate of this method no not at all this method is now said to it's not overriding now this method is now overloading this method in the parent class that means if you create an object for the child class and if you don't pass any arguments this method and the this inherited method will be called with the child class object and if you pass some uh, integer value argument something like that this method will be called okay this concept is overloading uh, in inheritance also overloading is possible guys okay that proves that so because of these two concepts that is overloading and overriding polymorphism is possible in java with practical demonstration i have explained you what is polymorphism in java if you get such kind of questions in the interview make sure that you don't give direct definitions rather explain step by step what is polymorphism first say polymorphism means many forms okay in java it is possible because of overloading and overriding and is one of the oops concept in java and um, how that is possible methods having the same name okay uh, same name can be created in the same class or uh, you know can be created uh, in the parent and child classes as per overriding or overloading and because of this overloading and overriding concepts polymorphism is possible in java with practical demonstration you have mentioned and on the top of that you can also say that even uh constructor overloading is also possible okay constructor overloading is possible only in the single class only in inheritance constructor overloading won't constructor overloading or constructor overriding won't be possible but uh, in the single class constructor overloading will be possible how means i'll just tell you uh coming to constructors also only overloading is possible guys okay overriding is not possible or that to inheritance overloading is also not possible with uh, constructors okay so i'll just uh, create a new class and uh, say sample and uh, click on finish and uh, in this sample class if i want to uh, create a constructor i have to create something like this public and uh, constructors will not have any return type and the name of the constructor will be same as the name of the class like this sample now same constructor if you try to duplicate here you will get duplicate method error here or constructor error some kind of error but uh, as per the overloading concepts if you defer this constructor with a different number of parameters or 
Okay, again, if I copy paste, uh, again, the com this duplicate uh, error will come. So if I change the type here, as part of overlay overloading, okay? Or if I change the number of parameters here, like int, uh, int a, comma, double b, like this, okay? Then you see uh, the constructor having the same name as a class name, but uh, it differs in the number of parameters and type of parameters because of this constructor overloading is possible in Java, okay? So because of this method overloading, constructor overloading, and uh, me, uh, you know method overriding, polymorphism is possible in Java. With all these details, if you try to explain, if you get that uh, opportunity to explain formal polymorphism in detail, to this extent, you can explain to the interviewer, guys. Okay. So that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye bye.